Now you must be thinking why I am standing in front of a fairly standard looking polo and I know you can see the GT badge right over there but this thing is no ordinary polo. First of all, this is a GT TDI. Yup, the original one which came out back in 2013. This thing is equipped with the 1.6 litre turbo diesel engine which in and of itself is very difficult to find in a polo. And moreover, the owner of this car has taken it all the way up to stage 3 complete with the CR140 turbo and I'm gonna tell you all about this rare beauty. So let's not waste any time and get into the stuff that you want to know about. And that's this. The 1.6 litre turbo diesel engine found in the GT TDI. And like the thumbnail and the title suggests, this thing has been boosted up to stage 3. But none of those mods are really visible because they are mostly hidden away underneath the engine or around the engine. So if you look through the grill over here, you will see a dark side intercooler which is a big fat intercooler and definitely helps increase the performance of this car even more. Then you have a downpipe and a CR140 turbo attached to it. And this helps the car make tons of power and tons of torque. This thing is all about the torque. And well, I think we shouldn't waste any more time. Hop into the driver's seat and let's see what it's all about. part about driving this car is that no one really understands what is lurking underneath the hood because from the outside like I said this thing looks absolutely stock like the owner has also removed all of the badges GDDDI badges whatever it is apart from the front grill all of the badges have been removed so basically you do not know what sort of a polo this is and once you lay your foot down as I'm about to do Yeah, this thing absolutely flies and this thing is all about the torque it's not about the power it's all about the torque the power figures on the other hand are around 160 to 170 bhp Even if I've said that the power is not that much but this thing still produces some impressive numbers and this is on the smaller turbo which is the CR140. You can get a bigger turbo which is the CR177 and that thing will easily easily produce almost 200 horsepower in a car that weighs 1100 kgs and is basically the size of my foot. So yeah this is one heck of a build and most importantly it's been tuned so that the owner can daily drive this thing because I mean if you're not above 2000 rpms this thing basically drives like any other polo on the road but once you get into this car's boost range it wheel spins in second gear and in the initial parts of third gear as well yeah it's so fun to drive maybe the tires could have been a little bit better these are not the best tires for this car but yeah it picks up speed like nothing else that i've seen in a car this small especially a diesel hatchback because yeah not a lot of people build diesel hatchbacks and you probably should because they are one of the easiest ways to make cheap power and this thing holds testament to that to keep control of all of this power you don't get any dsg or anything like that you get a proper five speed manual transmission which makes the driving experience super fun and super engaging now this five speed transmission isn't the most slick out of all of the cars that are in this price bracket it's a little rubbery it, it's a little sticky and moreover the clutch in this thing weighs like i don't know it it's basically given me a leg workout that's how much it weighs and yeah, my leg has started to hurt after some driving in the tight streets of Bandra. So yeah, it is daily drivable, but you need to be committed to it. That's the key. 
let's quickly get on to stuff like the looks and interior of this car starting with the looks this is the first gen of polo 6r that came out in india so the bumpers lights and other bits on the outside are completely different to the last car which was sold in 2021 this is a full on sleeper spec vehicle the owner uses this as his daily so it has no gti headlights 17 inch rims or lowered suspension it is as stock as it gets on the outside. The interior is also the same, with literally nothing being touched and it being kept OEM to the core. The seats are a little bit different considering this is the GT. So you get the fabric seats which are not found in any other variant of the Polo. So yeah, this thing is as stock as it gets apart from the engine department. Now let's get on to the price for such a build. Keep in mind, this is a very bare basic stage 3 build, so let's get on to the mods that this car is running, which in all honesty, are only 3 parts. First up is the turbo, the CR140, which will cost you around 1 lakh rupees. Now there are a couple of options for the turbo, one is the CR140 and the other is the bigger CR177, which might be a little bit of overkill for a usable street car. Now the turbos can be acquired for a cheaper price if you buy them used or if you just get a good deal. Then comes the downpipe, which is 30,000 rupees and again, the car isn't running an exhaust system. It is only running a downpipe, which is fair since the 1.6 TDI isn't a singer by any means. But if you want to do an exhaust system, that is probably another 30,000 rupees out of your pocket. Last but not least comes the intercooler which costed around 40,000 rupees for the owner. Now yes, many more things can be added to the car like a performance air filter which is around 7 to 8,000 maybe, a cold air intake, coilovers and many more things. And this is just the performance side of things. As you know, the cosmetic side can also be tweaked and customized as per your liking. Nowadays, spending 5 to 6 lakhs on your polo is quite normal. So don't be surprised once the bills start racking up for your dream spec polo. Now, I think you've understood that this is an epic little machine to drive and own. And owning or at least finding it is the most difficult part because the 1.6 litre GT TDI is a super rare find. You're not going to find it just lying around here and there. Only the truest of enthusiasts know what this thing is and bought it originally back in 2013 when it came out. So finding this particular model is going to be super difficult. But the good news is that there are tons of 1.5 TDIs which are available in the market and you can do basically the same amount of mods and produce almost identical figures with the 1.5 TDI regardless of it being a Rapid, Vento, Polo or whatever the 1.5 TDI came in. The 1.6 TDI however can be found in the Rapid and Vento as well. So if you're not able to find the Polo GT TDI, you can go for a Vento TDI from the same era or a Rapid uh, TDI from the same era and you'll be producing identical power figures to it. But the charm of this car definitely has to be that it's so compact and it's so fun to drive and moreover it's city friendly because it can park into small spaces and all of that stuff. So if you're looking for a car which is fun to drive, has that rarity factor provided that you can find it, the GT TDI 1.6, especially in stage 3 iteration, is an epic little car to own. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel. Comment down below what you thought of the GT TDI and I'll catch you in the next one.